Welcome, Wastelanders, to the Spooner D Holiday Special. Not to be confused with the Star Wars Special. Uh, in this settlement episode, we are going to rebuild. If you don't know where we are, oh, there we go, Taffington Boathouse. Um, yeah, there we go, we're going to... Do a bunch of scrapping, and we're going to rebuild this in real time. So, uh, I have no idea how long this is going to take me to do all this, but um, we're just going to jump oops, right into it, and uh, you can actually watch me in action and see how I go about uh, making my settlements. So, um, obviously, the first thing I do is I scrap everything, and I mean everything. I might leave rocks like that. Oops, don't want to do the road, so you uh, got to be careful. I'm going to leave the telephone pole for now, because I um, don't know what I'm going to do with this place. But uh, right now, it's just a matter of just scrapping and getting it ready to be rebuilt. i got a little buggy there, see if I can get him out of there. Uh, let's see. There we go, we got him. So, uh, yes, whenever I start a settlement, the first thing I do is get rid of... All of the garbage, all the trees, all the bushes, dead this, dead that, um, typically leave um, sections of road unless I decide to make some changes and whatnot, and uh, don't really mess with that kind of stuff, and usually big rocks or cliffs um, I kind of just leave. Uh, if you're wondering why my settlement is so big, uh, I mention it all the time in my videos, but not everybody watches the whole thing and or listens to what I have to say. But I'm using a mod called All Settlements Extended. Um, as the name would imply, it makes all settlements much, much bigger. So that I can go way, way far away and way outside the borders to, to do this kind of stuff. And I have no idea if I'm actually going to build out this far. Um, but at the moment, I'm just kind of testing the boundaries just to see how far out I actually can go before um, the game stops me. And apparently, we can go pretty darn far. Uh, looks like we finally hit the end here. Now that I can't see. Oh, no. Wait, there we go. So typically what I do when I find my boundary um, is I will put something here. So we're going to put, uh, I don't know, a, uh, oop, a support. So I know that that's my boundary there, more or less. I mean, I probably could go a little bit further, but uh, I don't want to really be on the very, very outskirts. Um, just in case I start building something right around there and then find out I don't have the room to do it. Um, I have had that happen... And it can be quite annoying. Uh, it's not like I can't get around it um, by using the mod place anywhere on PC and I think uh, Xbox as well. Um, you can create items inside your buildable area. And, like, see, I can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. Or there. There we go. So if I wanted to put this out here, now that I've built it, I can actually go and put it there. But right now I'm just finding my actual border. So I'm going to be putting little hoozy mawatsies in basically all directions once I figure everything out so that I know basically how far out I can build. Um, back on PlayStation, um, the mod I used oh, okay, was uh, Commonwealth Gek which um, is available on PC and Xbox as well. Um, but it's completely different. It's so weird that it has the same name, but on PlayStation, um, Commonwealth Gek actually allows you to make a settlement as large as you want. You can just go to a vanilla settlement, and once you turn on um, the workshop mode, you can just continue building in any direction that you so choose. Um, very, very helpful to get, you know, things the way you want them exactly, but, uh, you know, being on the PlayStation, you do have to be careful because of the, uh, console's limitations and whatnot. Um, you know, going out super, super far does kind of start to put a strain on the, uh, the memory and all that kind of stuff, so just be careful if you're going to do that. Um, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know that I have made some very large settlements on the PlayStation, uh, and it was because of that mod, so um, 
I do highly recommend it. I have used it. I have pushed it to its limits and beyond. And, uh, you know, I uh, basically, more or less, that's why I switched over to PCs, because I finally did hit all the limits of um, the PlayStation. Plus, uh, there are just so many more better mods um, on computer and Xbox on PlayStation we really did kind of get hosed there because of uh, Sony's limitations. Um, if you're building out in this area, I do not recommend putting anything in here because these little boogers here um, do constantly respawn. I made that mistake once by putting stuff out here uh, on the PlayStation 4 and um, they just kept respawning. And actually, yes, you can scrap all this stuff under the water too. Um, this does help minimize the amount of stuff that you have in your location. Uh, but anyway, yes, in that little alley back there, do not build anything there. Um, it just will not work. Right, let's see, how far out can I go? I go there. There we go. There's my limit. Because um, those things will just keep respawning and uh, it's just, it's no fun. Alright, let me see if I can build out over this way like I did on my PlayStation. Nope. There we go. I can get basically up to the shore. Um, so, that's a uh, pretty decent size, if I do say so. Um, yeah, alright, so I'm not gonna bother picking up every last bit of scrap just at the moment, because I know a lot of you want to see the building get done, so uh, we're gonna jump right into that. So, um, of course, I gotta clean everything. That's just the way that uh, my OCD brain works. I have to get everything out of here, um, including all this kinds of junk and those guys. We don't need vines. Uh, get rid of that. Don't need these. Don't need that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that one because I'll replace it. Uh, same thing with that. Um, don't care. Don't care. Get out of here. Don't need paint. Um... Yeah, we can get rid of that garbage. And that. And now we can start... Oop, get out of here. Start working around out here. So, yeah, we're going to replace these guys. So, let's get rid of all of that. And this. So, um... Uh, some vines. So, yes, this whole house eventually will get rebuilt. Now, when you're doing this, um try to be as careful as possible. You're going to notice that like, I'm going pretty fast because I've been doing this for so much, as you can see, for so long uh, with all my videos out there and whatnot. Um, I kind of know what's what and kind of what to look for in order to make sure I'm scrapping the right things. Not to say that I don't make mistakes. I obviously do. Um, that's why it is very important to save quite often and uh, just be careful because you never know and you might screw up and scrap something you don't want to scrap. Okay, we don't need that, we don't need that. And as you can see, if I try to scrap something here, it's going to take out a huge chunk. So we got to be really careful, very selective about you know, the different parts that we do get rid of. Because, like, this is just one section of wall here. Actually, actually no, that is quite big. Wow, okay. We might uh, have a bit of a challenge here to rebuild this place. I had plan to um, just replace the wall sections, but it looks like it's uh, whole entire sections. Oh boy, this is going to be fun! Uh, Alright, let's try that one. Let's see. There we go. Zip on up here. Get rid of that vine. Get rid of that vine. So, we might have to change my idea, but definitely get rid of that little section roof and that post. Because uh, I do have replacements for those. Um, it's mostly the upstairs anyway that's kind of messed up. So we'll have to we'll have to play around. Um, let's get rid of all this junk in here. So uh, yes, this is my holiday special. This is a special little treat. I'm throwing an extra video your way um, today, Monday, Christmas. I'm actually recording this ahead of time. Uh, if you do not celebrate it. Um, I don't know, free bonus for you and uh, just for being awesome. Uh, let's continue on cleaning. I'd uh, 
I'm planning on doing something kind of special for the holidays, just just because. Why not? And, um... Oh, look at that. Scrap that, so we can scrap that, and scrap that. Whoa, don't want to scrap that. Yeah, that's how you almost make a mistake and take out something you don't want to get rid of, so... You don't need a couch, we can get rid of that, and actually... We will be able to get rid of this whole thing, so I can put one that uh, is all fixed up, so... We will work on that uh, pretty soon. Roof sections definitely gotta go, so to hell with it, let's get rid of them. That also helps reveal some vines and whatnot. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of the bed. And that. And that, why not? Um, get rid of some of this patchwork, because actually the floor is fine. Um, I'm using multiple scrapping mods, um, one of which breaks pre-combined, so if that's something you are worried about, um, you know, use it at your own discretion, basically. Um, I have never had issues with uh, breaking the pre-combines. Um, I know a lot of people, the first thing they do is scream at you on the forums and on Facebook and everywhere, and... Uh, including here in my own channel. Oh, you're gonna break pre-combines, -com pre and you're gonna have, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, frame drop and this and that, and honestly, I've never had an issue. I mean, maybe back when this game was new, sure, um, and when I was first running it here on PC, um, I was using a 10-year-old i7 CPU, which is basically the equivalent of an i3 nowadays, like a modern i3. And I was running on a GTX 1060. I was not exactly using top-of-the-line hardware or anything, and I didn't have any issues then, and even now with my upgraded computer, I still don't. So, I mean, you know, maybe it's back when this game was first released, people were warning about it because systems were a little weaker, or warnings for people with weaker systems, I don't know. Um, so, I mean, take that with a grain of salt, you know, it's the type of thing that maybe, you know, somebody once said, and it just kind of um, has been something that people always want to shout as soon as somebody says they want to do something like that, just because, I don't know. Uh, either way, that's uh, totally up to you. If uh, that's something you want to uh, worry about, um, you know, create multiple characters and you know, start a new one with a new save and see if it works. And uh, if you have issues, you have issues. Uh, let's see, is that locked? That is locked. Um, obviously, actually, we'll get out of there. I don't even need to do that because, oop, I can just scrap the door. And then you got to watch for these guys. You can, Scrap those two, and uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. So if you don't know what pre-combines are, um, uh, I should, probably shouldn't have scrapped everything before I started mentioning it, but like, let's say all these objects out here, um, you know, we have this bush, and we have all this scrap, etc. Uh, if you see kind of like a complicated item put together, like, um, actually like that gun I was just taking apart, um, you know, all the bits and pieces that were just right there, uh, instead of being one piece for your uh, computer or console to render, um, the pre-combined breaks it up into all the pieces that it's actually made out of, and so now your computer has to render all those individual pieces versus one, and rendering, you know, five is more work than rendering one. Um, that's basically just simplifying uh, exactly what this is and how it works. Um, but there are many cases where that's what uh, Bethesda does. Um, instead of just making um, a simple texture that would um, be one whole thing that you wouldn't have to worry about breaking a pre-combine, they instead make these whole combined things and then shove them in there as one whole thing. Um, I don't know, maybe it's less work for them. Uh, either way, it's kind of annoying. Um, so... That's uh, that's what you get there. All right, so let's see. Add on deck. Let's see. Roof sections. We are looking for a. There we go. One of these guys. Boom! Snappy. Look at that. It is now repaired. Yay! Uh, and we need a new post. Um, so we're gonna put that little dude there. Actually, I think. Uh, actually, no. We'll use that one. Sorry, wrong one. 
Let's, uh, there we go. Snap it into place. And uh, let's see. I don't know if we have the proper railing for that. Um, hmm. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. Nope. Nope. Hit. There we go. Yay. Now we're starting to rebuild. Um, so yes, as you can see, the mod I'm using here, Snappy Builds, uh, available on computer, obviously, and... Ooh, that's kind of long. Um, that doesn't look right. Uh, oh, there we go. And uh, Xbox, but not, unfortunately, PlayStation, because uh, as much as I don't like to hate on PlayStation, it, uh, it kind of sucks because of what Sony did to it, so... Um, actually, I think we're going to need the longer one here. Uh, ew, that don't look right. Let me see. Let me fix that. Yeesh. Oh, I see. Um, alright, let's try moving it over with Place Anywhere. There we go. How does that look? Fantabulous. Alright, next one. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, PlayStation owners got the short end of that one. Um, I really wish that hadn't been the case, but, um, that's just what Sony did to to us PlayStation people. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to put a railing there. I'll kind of leave that for now. We'll uh, figure that out later. Um, stick one there. That one's too short, and the other one's probably going to be too big. Um, so we will take you and slide you over, and there we go. That has been rebuilt. Um, no railing for there. You do have a post. Um, sweet! All right, let's uh, do a quick save here. <coughs> All right. So uh, these episodes, I'm only going to keep down to about 30 minutes. Um, I know most people don't have that huge of an attention span to go past that. So we're just going to keep these into 30-minute episodes, and uh, I will be... Oh, look, there's another one. So here's an example. Um, anyway, as uh, into 30-minute episodes, and... Uh, I'll be picking this up every now and again to continue on with this. Um, so here, we have a pre-combined. Now I'm also showing you one of the things that my scrapping mods can get, which is the uh, activator thing that actually makes this thing go off when you um, trip the little wires that we had there. So if I get rid of that, now you can see I have all these individual pieces here that instead of this being like one object, uh, Bethesda broke it into these three. So that's your your pre-combined that has been broken and turned into one solid object now um, don't know if I'm gonna be making doors open so for now we'll just kinda leave that be um, alright so we have um, walls there we go we have bay windows here replacements that uh, don't have that broken look to them so let's um, let's take that one out uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, let me hit F2 on place anywhere to bring that down so that I can actually bring this into place where it should be. And, uh, unfortunately, it's not going to snap like it's supposed to because there's no real snapping point here. So we'll have to kind of finagle this and just place it in there. And uh, we'll go on to the inside and make sure that that looks proper, which uh, actually kind of does. And uh, another little trick here, uh, if that's the right key, yes, that is. We can turn off the outline so that we can actually see this thing properly without it uh, looking kind of funny. And as we can see, we do have to bring it in a schmidge. And uh, that works. We'll store that because we don't want that going away. Um, but we do want this back on so that we can see how big of a section this is going to get rid of, which looks like it's just that. So let's go ahead and take that out. Um, I th think that does exist in here somewhere. Um, we've had upper parts, not uh, what I'm looking for. Neither that. Um, might be in here somewhere. Ah, here we go, those sun rooms. Now we have a, a new one to put in place. Uh, I guess we'll go for this guy right here. And uh, we'll just kind of boop, put it there for now. So we can line it up exactly the way we want. Nice and easy cheesy. And... Sure, that looks good. Let's uh, check it from the outside and see how that looks. Hey, not too shabby. Alright, not bad for just kind of 
winging it. So one of the things I do to make sure when I can't snap these things, um, let me turn the outline off again, is uh, look at the lines on floors and stuff like that and try to line things up that way. Um, if you come across uh, things like that where you cannot snap into place, that does help uh, tremendously in being able to um, line them up so that uh, they actually look okay. All right. Um, all right. Uh, oh, I see a vine over here we got to get rid of. Let's see. Is there any place I can stand out here? Probably not. Let's see. Oh, there we do. We have a little bit of... Let me turn my outline back on. Get rid of that. Now we got a hole in the roof. Got to get rid of that. And... All right. Let's do that real fast then. Um, do, 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 do. Roof. We want... That guy? Is that right? All right. So... Uh, we do have uh, different sizes with uh, some different textures. We have some corner pieces as well. Um, other corner pieces. So, a whole bunch of options for really making this thing uh, look nice. And uh, now we want regular roofs, though, because we want to be able to... Uh, let's see. I want to try and snap one of these guys on here. Is that going to snap? Probably not. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, let's see. Um, so one thing I do, a uh, little tip for you if you're trying to build something like this, is you need some place to stand sometimes. Just pop a couple of floors right up in the air. There we go, and hopefully land on them. And then you can kind of build from uh, one of these angles so that you can actually see what the heck you're doing and whether or not these things are actually going to you know, look nice. And So if we put this one... Uh, let's just... Oops, wrong button. Let's just kind of finagle that in place. Ooh, way off. So, now I'm going to take this guy and put him right over about there. This way I can actually see what I'm doing here. So I can try to make sure that I get this uh, lined up properly. Uh, that don't look too bad, I think. Um, maybe it's got to go this way a little schmidge. Um, alright, that's not too bad. And, uh, we can come down here, turn off our outline again. And I can see that it's actually got to come down a little, so we'll use... Actually, no, maybe... Uh, right about there. And... Let's push it back. Boom! There we go. Not 100% straight, but... We're, uh... We can work on that in the future. Right now, I just want to see if this is actually going to look the way that I want to with using uh, these roofs. So now this one should oop, snap right into it, and there we go. We have our repaired roof. For that section, anyway. So now for this one, um, we could try doing a duplicate of the same exact thing there. Or maybe we might throw, like, this guy in here. Why the heck not? So we'll just place it there for the moment, and then... Uh, and kind of finagle them back into place a little bit. Uh, well, not even close. Um, right. Right about there is good enough. So we can grab our, our floor pieces and uh, scooch our way over there and uh, work on putting that in. Uh, there we go. So now as we can see that this has got to go... Ooh, actually, that's not too bad. Right about there. Over here a little. Boom! So, I mean, it fits, it works. We've got a little crisscross action going here. Um, not entirely bad. I'm not sure if I want to necessarily keep it. And as you can see, that actually looks like both of them need to kind of go down or move a little. Oh, jeez. Let's see, we've got another hole there, too, we got to fix. So, let's uh, move you in there. Maybe bring you down. No, that still looks kind of funky. Let's try... That looks pretty decent. I'll take it. All right, let's uh, work on this guy here and scooch in a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Come on, there we go. And uh, yeah, so we got a little overlap action there. I mean, that's entirely up to you. I mean, honestly, I think that looks pretty darn decent. I mean, the whole other option would be to not use any of these pre-made sections at all and just build it from scratch using you know, these pieces, and then you can make the roof like any shape you want. Like, I mean, I could start here and make it really tall so that I have an attic, or 
I could have even, you know, taken this whole section out that I just put in and left it as a flat, uh, flat roof. But I uh, kind of don't want to do that. So I think I'm just going to leave it because I think that looks pretty neat. So, um, let's see. Is there a section that fits in there that... I mean, you got that. And then, uh... I don't know if there's any window sections for this. That do. That just kind of fills that in. Um, cause I, mean, I do kind of want to put a window in there. That'd be kind of cool. Um, let me see. What am I thinking of? I think there is... Um... You got these guys here, which, I mean, you got that so you can close that in, but you can also, we'll put that in there for now. Um, I think, or maybe that was the only thing I had. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't think there are any windowed pieces like that that I can throw in there. Uh, let's see, let's continue looking. I am not giving up yet. Um, hmm. alright, we'll go back into here. Modular pieces. These are all, I mean, yeah. Alright, so nothing there. And as you can see, if you, too, if you're working with some of the brick textures, you do have the brick end, so like, you know, if we wanted to put that in there, we could do that. But, that doesn't really fit. Um, we could put these on the inside, too. Give it a little more of a, you know, solid look, I guess you can say. Um. Yeah, not really what I'm looking for. Um, kind of, but that's not right. And those don't fit. Um, oh, that's what I'm already working with. That ain't gonna work. Um, alright, so I guess that's what we get. Well, dang! Alright, so, uh, there's our fixed roof. And our fixed side, so that actually went pretty fast. Uh, of course we're not done. There's plenty to be done here. I mean, we've got all these blown out windows, which, um, there was that other section of roof, too. Um, so unfortunately, I thought this place could be taken apart, uh, little section by little section. Um, kind of like, uh, the Jamaica Plain, um, build that I was doing, um, wrong section here. But, uh, this is actually put together by, no, we don't want that. Um, whole giant pieces. So, we can try doing something here to see if this will work. Highly doubt it, but we'll see. If not, then uh, maybe we'll just take it apart and... Let's see, where's the glass? I want that glass there. Maybe take it apart and build it from scratch. You know, see, even if I put regular glass in there, it's still kind of... Don't look right. So, alright, let's see. How big of a section do you take out? Wow, whole bottom half of the house. <laughs> um... Alright, so we are going to do a quick save. And then we're going to hop back in here and we are going to see about... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's start back here so I don't forget that there's supposed to be a door here. And that is kind of a wide section too. Um, let's head on back over to the house and go to our walls. And before we even take anything out, we're going to make sure that uh, I actually have a wall here that will fit and do exactly what I want, which is... Oh! Um, yes, a door on this side. Right, yes, okay, so... Alright, we saved. Oh, there it goes, it's gone! And now we have our door back, and as you can see now, we need some floor, we need some foundation. Um, not a problem. Um, oh, just a piece of dirt down there. So, because we do have actual foundation here! And, uh, and drop this guy right in here and get him to go where we want him to go. Uh, that didn't really work so well. Let's, uh, there we go. Nice, very, very nice. Um, oh, I see, okay. So we actually have to put uh, some walls in here too to kind of fix that. So let's go back into our walls. Uh, we need a standard size. To kind of get into there and snap. So now that's been repaired. Uh, ooh, that's too big. Way too big. And now it's interfering with that. So, um, let's see. That's too small. Oof. We might have to do an overlap. I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to make it work. 
Alright, back to the wide ones. Um, we just need a plain wall here. Which, uh, actually, that one's going to be too big, so maybe just a... Oops. Standard wall. And we'll have to maybe do a small one, too. Alright, that'll work. Uh, how big is that? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Perfect. Now uh, we're popping. And uh, here, I believe, was just... Yes, because there's our entryway. So here we're going to put in... Mm, that's too big, I think, right? Let's see. Let's find out. Let's go outside and see if we're extended. Um, we are... Oh, yeah. Way too big. <laughs> All right. Uh, probably just a wide one. Uh, let's see. Put that in place. Perfect. Now, you're wondering about the edges here. Not a problem. Um, we have corners and caps. And kaboom. Look at that. All fixated. And same thing for over here. Just drop that in place. And now, of course, we do need some interior walls here because um, of the way they designed this when they put it together. So let's uh, put that there. And um, where am I? Oh, no. Well, I probably could have used that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's actually get rid of that. Go back to this. There we go. And we'll put you... Sure. There. You... Here, if we can get you to snap properly. Come on. There we go. And just like that, we've basically kind of repaired this whole room here. But uh, we still have that little corner piece there. Um, I think we have some internal corners. Do we not? Maybe not. Um... Let's see, just drop that there, and that kind of fixes that. And we don't need to worry about that section, but we do have to do this one. So let's go back to here, standard wall. Oh, too big. Let's go for... that's too big. That one, and that one. Oof, those don't line up. There we go! And that has been repaired. So now... That actually snaps into place, because I put this ground piece in here. And now if we come out here and look at this section, we have nice new windows. I mean, the paint's still kind of crappy, but, I mean, the windows are the way they're supposed to be. Oh, we'll have to fix that trim right there. Not a problem. And uh, everything's looking hunky-dunky. Let's uh, fix that trim while I think about it. And, uh... Oh, that's not good. We do a little better than that. All right, let's uh, let's cheat. Actually, that's wider. Hmm. Oh, that's probably why, because I'm using the corner piece, and I want trim. There we go, and it's still off. <laughs> let's move that over. And uh, look at that perfection. Oh, geez, almost. <laughs> All right, let's put this one in place and make sure. Yep, it's got a doop doop. Slide over, and there we go. And actually, maybe we'll bump that up so that they bleed a little better. And, uh, yeah, not too bad. We might uh, be able to finagle something to kind of hide those spots right there. Not that big of a deal. I mean, that's the type of thing that really doesn't bug me. And plus, actually, if you look at the rest of the house, like, it is kind of there. So, um, now we can put this piece in there, and boom, that is all nice and hunky-dunky. Uh, if you don't know what Hunky Dunky is from, uh, I believe that is Christmas in Connecticut. Fun little movie. Uh, if you're looking for something to watch on the holidays, you might be able to find that on Netflix or something. And uh, I am not sponsored by them, sadly. It would be nice to have some endorsements. But uh, yeah, there we go. We have uh, half of the downstairs all done. And uh, in the next episode, we will be tackling the other half. Uh, and... Uh, work our way up. We're going to be replacing all those sections up there too, which then uh, these roof pieces will actually snap better. And then uh, we'll figure out what in the world we're going to do with this place. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions of what you'd like to see me build here, um, if you want to see like a whole town of houses like this, or some sort of marina or something, uh, it's totally up to you. I mean, if you guys want to make suggestions, I will... Uh, you know, look into it. Um, oh, we can even replace those lights, too. We're going to do all that. This place is going to be banging by the time it's done. But, um, yes, I have no idea what I'm going to do here. Every time I've ever built here, I never really had a clue, and I just kind of winged it. Um, as you saw, we have a lot of building space, so uh, I can kind of leave that up to you guys to 
give me some direction, something you want to see, something you've built before maybe that you want to see my take on, I, I don't know, whatever. I am open to all suggestions, and uh, I have no idea when we're going to pick this back up. It's going to kind of probably fit into my normal uh, Sunday settlement schedule, so it's going to be every couple of times I'll throw one of these in as often as possible, or you know, maybe I'll do something new and throw them in sooner just to keep you guys uh, satisfied and so you don't uh, riot and uh, attack me and whatnot. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Until next time, don't get irradiated.